I want to say as far as uh, Mary Louise's public comment, she's correct. There's a lot of talk about this, so I don't think that. Okay, that's not announcements in the community calendar. Do you want to speak? That's old business. Well, I don't think we can this, ignore We're it. making announcements in community calendar. Do you have anything <laughs> else? That's it. We'll have, um, what are they called? Closing comments. Closing comments. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody got up at, at the public speaking and was speaking about and has made some accusations. And I've, I've looked back at some minutes, specifically October 9th, 19, uh, 2014, when there was a motion made by myself, seconded by Selectman Wolseley, and the vote was five to nothing to approve the creation of the position of assistant town manager. So when somebody says that, that it is a fake or a false position, it was a unanimous vote seconded by Mrs. Wolseley. Second of all, going on through that, we, we then talked about the budget. And, the, and Mrs. Wolseley approved the budget, approved the 2015 personnel administration budget, including the recent personnel changes. And it was a 5 nothing vote. And, that and then it goes on to talk about the assistant town manager and the human resource director to replace previous assistant town council and human resource director. And it's a part-time position. It goes on to sp spell it out. And also in here, the, the, um, the chief wanted to thank the board at the time, Chief Sullivan wanted to thank the board and the town manager for their confidence in him and announced his retirement as police chief. And he's looking forward to the challenge to continue to serve the town and hope to add value. Selectman Wolseley stated, we are going to make you work hard and appreciate your expertise. Selectman Griffin made statements knowing that somebody with his qualifications would be a great thing. And there were other statements in here as well. So when statements are made that it was a fake position and a yes, phony a position, position. Uh, it was a unanimous board, it's decision of that board at that time. Boards change, boards make it changes. And if we have, if, if something new comes up, then we can change that. But to say that it was a fake position when they, when they voted for it, I'm sorry, but I, that just doesn't sit well with me. Um, May I make a statement? Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I'm talking to the chair, all right, so I'm, I'm voicing this through the chair because I don't want to get into a back and forth with somebody. But when things are said in a meeting, when things, individuals can say whatever they want to, when things are said in meetings, though, that people took illegal actions and that, uh, you know, they did things illegally, then names should be named. When people say people should be removed from a board, then names should be named. If somebody wants to make those statements, they should name the names. They should follow through on what they're saying. Now, you know, there's a lot of anger, a lot of yelling on these boards, and I'm not going to get into that with individuals. But if you say somebody, you accuse somebody of doing something illegally, you make the name and you follow through on what you want to do. But you don't just keep going saying and accusing and making, you know, in implications about people. So I, I, I would like that to stop. It's ridiculous. Okay. I have one too after. This is Wolseley. I was I had, was newly returned to the board for my fourth term in twenty thirteen and fourteen. I did not have a copy of this personnel policy to refer to and I was serving in twenty fourteen with four individuals who were determined to get that position for their friend, Mr. S former Chief Sullivan. I went along, and I shouldn't have, but I went along with it because I thought I'm outvoted. I'm not gonna bother creating a big uproar, but the bottom line is that this, this personnel policy, which was in effect at that time, and was recently um, approved in March 13, 2014, I didn't, understand all the procedures that had to go th you had to go through uh, and the protocols and advertising and all that stuff none of the protocols in this personnel policy were uh, were applied for that position and the next part and this is the first thing I mentioned to Fred when I was reelected last year there was a very serious criminal incident in June 2013 in Hampton, and I was not made aware of it until February 
2016 when I had a call from an individual who knew what happened. That problem in 2013 applied to the town of Hampton, applied to the police department, and I was totally blocked off from knowing anything about that because there was no communication. And I stand by what I said tonight, and we are bleeding money on a useless position. There was no competition, no applications, no advertisement, and you didn't, you didn't really replace Wanda uh, in uh, legal. Wanda died, unfortunately, and that money was left over. That doesn't mean that the new position, um, <laughs> that the new position of assistant manager was comparable to what the position was in the legal department. The public is furious. People are stopping me in Hannaford, for heaven's sakes, complaining. And I don't blame them. I'm complaining, too. This is a terrible thing for this town. That you signed and um, you were part of. Thank you. I, if I Isn't knew that? what well, was done. Well, you should know what you're voting for. My, no, if I knew what had been I, done. I, I think I we all, we, I don't men think this is we had your vote. Sitting you there. Let, you did who vote. You signed that. You, vote, you voted. You voted. You I voted. knew you were going to do okay. that. Okay. Well, thank Four you for one. voting. We're one. following your vote. So thank I you, Mrs. Said, well, Wolseley. It's not worth fighting. Thank with you them. for your vote. If you don't have all the Mrs. information Wolseley, you need. Read what I want. First Amendment. You need information when you're making decisions like that. Well, we all have a chance. You could come and get all the information you wanted, but evidently you didn't. No, I didn't get any okay, information well, thank on you. a You've criminal activity. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Item. Chairman, this has been described to you. We've met in public, and it's all been described to you. And oh, you have... no, no, no. Okay. What triggered this? What triggered the mess that I discussed tonight? M Mr. Chairman, I think we're we're virgin and libel here. Yep. Well, I, I would no, be that's extremely she careful. She is the one criminal. that's doing it. I would be extremely careful. Yes, she has. We've talked. We've uh, these matters have all been brought up. And if you want to continue to go on the road that you go, please just continue. Do no, what you want to do, Mrs. Wilson. No paying attention to the You're not to the agreeing. You're not policy. going along with the decisions that you voted yourself. So because that's enough. Because I didn't know. Well, you did it. No, I didn't. You I mean, didn't I vote? I, yes, I voted. Our records but show I, that you voted I, for exactly did, what you're complaining but about. But I did not understand. Okay, I'm sure you don't. There's a lot of things that I'm policy. sure you don't understand. Thank you. Well, no